Okay, let's reset our timer. Let me go again, this time without. So... Hard difficulty. And go. How soon can Bomb Crusader clear on a 50? Yeah, like maybe 10 hours into the season. Get those daggers. Like it's gonna be easier to do 150 with Bomb Crusader than with Inas, but everyone is gonna play Inas because it's well, it's easier to play and stuff. So there's that, I guess. Uh, let's gamble a bit. Actually, we don't gamble. We don't gamble anything. Let's go. One fifty is for everyone. I mean, Akans Bombardment is kind of like difficult to gear, that's the, the biggest part about it, and also yeah, it is something that is probably only really gonna be successful for like more experienced players, because yeah, this is, like, you have to actually like play the build properly and, and push properly. But it, for someone who's experienced, it's gonna be very easy to do 150, yes. So I wouldn't really recommend this for like a new player. Inos is like much more noob friendly than Crusader ever will be. But uh, yeah. If you want to do 150 as a noob, I'd say go in now. But Crusader theoretically could do it earlier if someone tries. A solo XP? Definitely Monk. It did the animation, but it didn't teleport me. So I lost my massacre. Scam. Hell of a scam. Got a power shrine, man. Let's go. Harming keys, monk. Bounty, monk. Solo XP, monk. Group XP, monk. Solo push, monk. Uh, choose your class. <laughs> I'll choose the H. That's a good choice, actually. I like it. I like you, Katze. Best supporter. Um, that's probably DH. DH is actually in every single group. Barb is sometimes kicked out in red runs, for example. In high end red runs, you kick Barb for the DH. Sigma players. These yellow items only. Hmm, is it time for another yellow items only push this season? The soul shards could be kinda funny. But what do we do exactly? I mean Monk Tempest Rush we've done, Demon Hunter, Hungry Arrow we've done. For GR70. Is there anything else I could do GR70? Hmm, maybe with the new Corpse Spiders there might be a bit of a chance. Hello from Latvia. Woody, you're oh. doing a great job. 
please keep on and thank you so much. Thank you so much as well. Who is that? Snowdog. <laughs> thank you so much for the big donation, man. Appreciate it. Wizard, yellow items only. Hmm. I have to check. Like, my yellow items pushes for OSG or 70, so I want to do that again if possible. You can check if that's possible on Witch Doctor. But I'm not sure if I will have enough items to actually craft the stuff I want. I want to get like really good items. So. I think I go back to town real quick. Voice is fixed is the faster build. What about wizards? Fastest build? I'm not sure why you would ever think the wizard is the fastest on anything right now. Crusader shit. Well, got all this loot here, but no regeneration. Loot of life regen at the start is really good, but we didn't get any. Also, I didn't check for our rings actually. Oof. Fast build of Hound T16. Oh, that's Typhon Hydra. Yeah, Typhon Hydra is a pretty good T16 build actually. And Bounties. It's actually one of the top builds. But yeah, pfft. aside from this, there's not much of a reason to play Wizard next season. No one's gonna want you. Besides Bounties. But if you play solo, then okay. Wizard is like, yeah, any class is fine if you play solo, so. He's a pool. This is a bad start here, I gotta say. Even if those axes are crafted. We're gonna lose our stacks here. Here's two life vision. Two life vision is actually noticeable at 600 HP. When you're up in a group, you go for curse chests usually. Or for horse agony. So either you have a strong group, meaning you have many necromancers or many monks. Then you go for Cursed Chests. Oh, you have a weak group, meaning basically everyone else. Then you go for Horse Agony. You don't do Massacre Bonus in group. It's already hard enough in solo. Give me Dash. Here two sub as well for Snowdog. Like, thanks so much, man. I appreciate it. What are you most looking forward to in next season? The thing we hit nothing with Shars and Cube. Well, I'm literally not even gonna cube anything, I think, unless. Oh, we could try Cube or Dibor, but it's not really much to gain, I guess. This is like very basic, no cube, no gamble. And you're gonna do 8 Sultan Cool Kills again, I guess. And then we just see how fast you can do this. So that's like the unluckiest of the unlucky starts you can have, basically. What I'm simulating now. I just had like a really good luck uh, start here. I'm also gonna craft a new level weapon. Or maybe just go without level weapon at all, as well. 
Mega unlock. How fast? Yeah, the goal would be like one and a half hours, but I guess it'll be kind of rough. Maybe 145 is probably the target here. And yeah, unlucky. We just did one hour ten. Softcore maybe could do like one and a half under these circumstances. And hardcore gotta be a bit careful at least. Seven level reduced. <laughs> Possible bug involving the water anise reverting back to the normal form. Uh, that's not really a bug, it's just the water anise timing out, and then you spawn new ones and they are in, in their human form. This is usually what happens. Dashing strike, finally. I guess because there's a rush through more now, since we're not gonna get a nice massacre anymore. This is the exit. I should get to level 10 at least, though, so I can get the emeralds. Doesn't matter since we got kill something cool, we're gonna get to level 10. Let's go. Are you certain SF rankings will be legit? Uh, no. <laughs> you can't prove it unless people. I mean, okay, so the only thing that people can do without getting caught is like farming to 16 and bounty side anyway. So the R's, yeah, okay, you can find us with others, but then you can see it on the profile. I mean, the document clearly states that this is based on honor system, so this is what you have. But since there's no prize involved or anything, and this is like a kind of like niche thing, and most of the big Paragon Blasters usually don't do these kind of things, uh, should be kind of safe from cheating. At least like for the top ranks. Where is this guy going? Okay, doing 8,000 cool kills again now. Let's go. That's number one. Need some upgrades. Good. Bounties you can see on profile. Yeah, I can see the total amount of bounties, but I can't see if someone did it in a group. So, that doesn't really help you much. You also can't verify if someone is bodying or not or something, so... Oh, we didn't change that rune. Go Cormac! What the fuck should I plan to reach the level I need for the 60 level weapon? Well, anything where I can comfortably farm. <laughs> like, I wanna kill stuff in like 1, 2, 3 hits maybe. Okay, finally got a heal from the Templar. Too bad, we're gonna get a level up on the boss kill now. It's on the three, right? Monk Monk, Bob, DH. 
Yeah, I think the like Rob and Alpha said that they're gonna do that, yes. But I won't. I will do just monk for like two days or three. Do the 150 and then we we go the H and and grind. The H is gonna be in my main. Why eight? With eight kills it's all cool, you have um, I think fifteen percent chance to not get a ruby. So you have really good odds to have one by then. I mean, if you get lucky, you just do one. I was doing eight to simulate being unlucky. That's number four. Mara or Intel Salvage? What? Sometimes you kill Southern Cool 20 times, then you go and buy a lottery ticket. That's what happens. Hello, Fabi. So that's number six, I think. If you count. Yeah, you can also get the the flawless royal gems there. So I was doing this with Imperials. Let's run. I'm gonna do it again. So two more kills. Six kills, a fifty percent chance to not drop. Yeah, I think something like that. Nah, I think four kills is fifty percent chance to not drop. Or so Yeah, I don't know. I calculated earlier, so eight kills like fifty percent chance or sixty percent chance to not have a ruby. I'm not gonna play with Robin North for this season. I'm gonna do solo. Alright, here we go. So let's take our rubies. Well, we can't use them yet anyway. So I guess we just go with Master of Guilty, Temple to First One again. How often do we kill Sultan Kuhn in the group? Well, depends. Like, we just need the big carries to have it, so it doesn't really matter. Otherwise, not everyone needs to have it. Crappy here. This is good. Okay. Hello, Monte. Yeah, my stuff really works for now. Level 21 is the big target for sweeping wind and then exporting palm. We should actually have that very soon, I think. It's very early. Need to check when we get it.
Okay, reach 100 here, but this is the shitty room. So to kite them through. Okay, that worked, but this is. Ugh, they also didn't. Okay, it worked. <laughs> Through the dead end. That was a really nice run here. Might even end up with level 16 after this. Which way do we go? Here. Seems like these ones are not opening. It's a 300 here, I guess. Kind of maze. Okay. Oh, okay. I was a bit greedy, just trying to dash in here. But the entire room was empty. Peppy hands. That was a good run, though. I guess we finished. Uh, okay, this would be very sad if we actually fin uh, find a the chest there, but there's a good chance we find a the chest there. There might be the room up there. Oof. We just lost like almost 400 here. Yeah. I've been pretty juicy. You could have gotten to like level 20 in one go, I guess. If that's the chest. Let's see. Yeah, that's actually there. Oof. Shouldn't have been greedy. Always take it slow, guys. But I'm gonna have our lower weapons now, so I guess we just finish this here. Finish the bounty, maybe. That's very far, though. Okay, let's go to the bounty, I guess. Good job, Templar. Let's do turn three. Yeah, it's all been insane. Eight hundred plus, uh, six hundred plus. Yeah, and this uh, even continue further, right? You can get a legendary weapon here, but I don't think we're gonna use that. Let's just take this and roll the, the socket here. Why the pack is Hardcore Monk? Because that's what I'm gonna start with. Nah, it's, it's good to get like one run in. Like this is like the unluckiest of the unlucky run. Early on like the luckiest of the lucky run almost. So it's good to get a bit of like, you know, both ends. 
so you can like decide on the fly, especially in hardcore, like you need to understand, you know, how much damage you take, for example, at various places. Yeah, I'll just do this one and then we're gonna do maybe some the age or something and have some fun with that as well. Yeah, plus uh, this gives like no damage now actually. Crusader shield, strength, vitality, vitality, vitality. Uh huh. Try again in Act 2. Yeah, no gambling, no crafting. I'm just doing like basic run here. There. Need a hell that has a socket. Probably have to craft one here. Nah, no, not getting anything. What does this guy have? Okay. So, helm. Craft one and roll socket. You would have three gems here. So yeah, I'm not even doing soul shard. Basically, I've, I'll probably go with a terror shard here in the helm because it gives you lots of damage reduction. You have to consider that actually, especially in higher torment difficulties. It's probably much better to just go with uh, with this basically. Blinding flash. Okay. Let's see torment three. Wait, when is Palm? Do we have Palm? We have Palm. Mm -hmm. We should probably just do that. And then at 25 is the, the big spirit rune. It's gonna be very nice. I don't think I want to do this. Yes, Serenity. Let's go. Can't see how this will go. Ah, they do quite some damage. But so do I. Yeah, the problem is getting the first pop. After that, it's fine. But with the bugs, it will be okay. All right. Bunny attack. And we almost level 20, so we can get to a Templar to cheat death. Which will help us a bit. I didn't poke a single time last time, it was just a pretty good run actually. But I also played kind of safe. Damn it. Takes so long for these guys to spawn. <laughs> what are they doing? Got a new trouble. Oh, we level 71, they have Sipping Wind now. 
should actually uh, let's let's reset the run actually and do that. Guys hurt. I don't like this at all. Should maybe go Tormund 2 again. I think last time I did Tormund 2 a little while as well, until we had the Mystic Allies. Might be the better strat here on Hardcore. It's a bit risky. Although our Templar survives pretty well here, so we get to cheat death most of the time. That's a backup. I don't like this guy here. Oh, we also have the, the explodey dudes here and that suicide on here. Gotta be careful with those. Ah, big massacre. Did you get the exploding palm with the spirit, level 25? That's the big one. Oh man, leveling and exploring power is so much fun. I love it. So cool. Best shit ever. Kind of hoping I get unlucky because it's so much fun. <laughs> Could just, you know, take this and, and blast. So great. I need to do some Liana push, maybe. Maybe if I'm like too like done too early with Demon Hunter, etc., I might just farm up some more stuff on the Monk. And do some Liana push next season. Gonna be great. Reach the boss by like minute six and then fail the rift because boss fight takes ten minutes. It's gonna be amazing. I'd really like to loot the chest, but we have Massacre going, so we can't. Let's see. Protection Shrine is pretty good. Probably get to 200 plus here. Let's see how far this continues. We are actually still very early here. This was only one room basically with the chest. So if we get lucky. Oh, problem. Don't have a dashing strike. Nah, yeah, rip. We dashed to the right corner. There was nothing. We dashed to the top. There was nothing. Unlucky. Guess we reset here. I just can do like more PvE or the free. Mm, hard to say. Boss fights take long with Liana? Yes. With Shenlongs? Yes. <laughs> and with Shot of Hatred? Yes. <laughs> so in, yeah, I was pushing Liana like 131 in scene 23. I had like, I don't know, 5, 6 boss spawns with like 7 minutes and then I failed all of them. This, we got this. Uh, let's take blinding speed, I guess. 
Master of Winter is not bad. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay. 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 Let's just go in this weapon. Using what in a cube? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> I didn't craft a weapon, I didn't gamble anything. I was just blasting. Alright. We have to stack up our sweeping wind here. To three. That's the main objective. Lost the massacre here? Hmm. Okay, 21 kills, not too bad. Pop. Oh, we got a spirit stone. Wow, I think this does, doesn't even have an effect. It's just a spirit stone. Amazing. And. God damn it. So bad. The Templar is dying. 100 bucks hitting him. Yeah, I should go down to Torma 2, I guess, for now. Doesn't make some new weapons, maybe. As we are simulating actually like pre-challenge rift leveling right now, right? With no materials or anything. What about the artisans? I don't think you need the artisans to be high level to craft like these items that I have. So you just like level them with you basically. Hmm. Yeah, this is probably dead end soon here or? No, it actually goes really far. Oh. Okay, that's good. we got here. Mm. It's kind of scary, I procced. I think we're going out here. If I can. Oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah, there's a fucking minion here. I guess we just continue, who cares. And I should go to Torment 2 though, so this is really getting a bit too tight here. Anyway. Torment 3 was kind of stretching it. Yeah, I might do a Witch Doctor run. Well, we have a few days, so we can do a lot of things. That's pretty good. Let's see this thing. No, I just procced. I didn't die. My character is still alive, apparently. Uh, we should do the transcendence at this point. That's pretty good. And we roll the socket. Oh, this is... Lashing Telgeek. Oh, shit. 
actually a good item, man. What the hell? Maxwell, everything update this week, yes. Don't worry. And we got Bladestone is 33, okay. The physical rest is actually pretty good. Should make it a bit easier here. We can also maybe get a new weapon. Two new weapons. Any axles here? Let's craft two of them. I have like a bit of higher stats and stuff. Actually, we could do this with a two-handed weapon. It's probably better, even at this point. Two-handed axe. Mm. Let's do it. Hardcore normal. I mean hardcore non-season? Yeah, hardcore non-season is like the most dead of the different types of like gameplay, I guess. It's 300 DPS. How's the axe of this actually? Maybe it's just straight up better to go with the axe. Actually, this thing has 350 life per hit. It would be better to just roll off the damage range for a socket. <laughs> if it wasn't so difficult to do. Because I would rather have to have 350 life per hit. That's like 7% of my life or something. This thing actually has the same DPS. Okay, we're gonna go with double axe. Screw it. So just two handers. It's gonna make it more smooth. Okay, I still have like really bad dexterity. I have a lot of vitality, which is nice, but I want more dexterity. I guess keeping the blind is pretty good here. I think that's probably the setup I'm gonna run to level 70 here. Palm, sweeping wind, blind. Just so I can tank stuff a bit more. It's gonna be quite good. Dash into the wall, lost the massacre. And it's a stead end here. Are we? 43 minutes. Yeah, one and a half hours will be hard. I think number two is kind of realistic though. Let's see. Guys, here. Yeah. Oh, big guys, man. Oof.
Yeah, that's it, okay. But we're level 35, that should be enough for Sleeping Wind upgrades. Let's see. Let's go, let's go next, I guess. That's pretty nice, plus 20% damage. Plus 80 percent <laughs> damage as well. Okay, that should be pretty good, yeah. Ah, that was pretty fun. I'm looking forward to it. He has Bladestorm. Quicksilver. Oh, there's also 10 Spirit. Yeah, that's actually pretty nice. Let's do it. No schedule plans. I mean, schedule blast is like. Yeah, schedule plans is like probably at least first week, it's like 16 hours a day. So after that, we'll see. Probably gonna go a bit lower. It's chaos. <laughs> Pure chaos. Now getting through this room is the hardest here, yeah, but we made it. Wait, this is the dead end actually. Oh. Okay. I'm trying not to palm anything so I can actually kite these guys. I think we are fine here. Alright, we did it. Let's go. Boom! <laughs> so much fun, I love it. Yeah, it's definitely a bit easier to keep the uh, massacre bonuses uh, with this compared to Mystic Allies. Mystic Allies sometimes just kill stuff a bit too quickly when you want to kite, or they freeze them so you can't actually kite. It's a bit of a problem, so I don't think you're actually going to lose that much time compared to Mystic Allies. If I could do this on like Torment 4, when I, when I would be like on softcore, I think I would do Torment 4 here. Or maybe Torment 3 at least. Could do some pretty nasty explosions. Oh, I should have gone there earlier. And, uh, Killing bugs here, so we need some of these guys here to actually give us some XP. Can be uh, multiplied. Oh, really? Okay, I guess we go next. What would the world be without ads? Much more bland, I guess. Because I wouldn't be here. Do you use this one? It's actually a pretty nice upgrade, I guess. Season 25 meta will change after gen nerf? Um, nope. I mean, everyone got nerfed by 2 tiers, pet builds got nerfed by 4 tiers. This is what happened. And since the best XP meta was a pet meta followed by another pet meta, which is inner and rats, it doesn't matter. I guess what happened is that uh, Crusaders and Mundunugu cut kind of like a bit of a bump up for groups. 
but in the end, Inar is too way too strong to make room for any other meta anyway, so... But yeah, I guess they are, they, are, they have become a bit more like reasonable to use now. Yeah, that was a shitty start. Bungie jumping. No, I don't do bungee jumping. Unless it's safe. Wait a second, does it dead end? Oof. Okay, how do we do this? We have three dashes. Whoa! Got it! And now. Huh, now we lost it. <laughs> no. oh. oh shit. I was so happy I got it. But I didn't pay attention here. Let's keep going, I guess. And then after the next game, we can check windows again. Maybe get something nice there. I can feel that the rubies are starting to fall off here a bit. So Torment 2 is already not really smooth. It's still fine, but probably have to go down to Torment 1 at some point. Okay, even like 3-4 palms or something, this big dude doesn't even die. It's kind of, yeah. Because it's time to start making a like, big X. Now this would definitely be time to slowly consider actually wearing the, like the, especially the Terra shard. I guess you could go and farm a Rakanov shard. Okay, now we lost it as well here. Yeah. I think going for Rakanov shard is probably the strat here. Well, I would have three cooldowns in my build. It's actually pretty good. That's not seen faster than Melly. What is Melly? Change the Marauder's life? No, only on patch day. Patch day is usually Tuesday in NA and Wednesday on EU. I guess it keeps these initiative for the smoothness. That's pretty good. That's even better. No speed. I guess you want the. You want the stats though. Oh, Mystic Ally. Yeah, of course it's not faster than Ally. <laughs> I'm doing like the worst possible leveling run right now. Okay, 
Okay, I just craft highest usable like 200x now. Let's go. 41. How big are they? It even comes with a socket. Minus two level requirement. Big. Uh, we should probably also do like highest usable, like a glove maybe. And pants. Let's just get like some upgrades here basically. This actually kind of sucks. That's kind of okay. Uh, let's keep going on Tom and Tune and see how it feels. If you don't get boots, just go second account. Yeah, depending on how many accounts you make. If you have your bot army, you can make many accounts, so that's one of them will get lucky, yes. I mean, getting the boots is, um, I think, around a 40% chance or 42% or something. If you uh, if you gamble all the shards on it. So you have 19 attempts with 5% uh, chance each, I think. So something like 42%. To not get it, or to get it, I think. Yeah, we can actually go Torment 3, I guess, so this. Especially with the extra dexterity I just got, this was quite noticeable. Should have gone Torment 3 at least. Okay, now we have to kite these guys. Which way do we go? Not here. Okay, I was a bit greedy, but we popped them and we got the massacre. Easy. Pretty good run. Maybe you can find a chest here. This could be the room for the chest. I know it goes around. Or... Oh, empty. Holy shit. Rip. Could have done one more dash, I guess. That was my mistake. Let's try another one. Let's go to home three. I think our damage is fine. Saying summertime in December. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> it's just the regular time, or it's 5 pm local time, so. Okay, we had almost one hour, level 42. Okay, the other done, the other one was done like 12 minutes from now. Rings very much. Okay, definitely a bit harder to pop the pawn now. Oh, here's a arcane pack. That's, that sucks, oh my god, okay, but we can probably kill it. Oof. Is this hard as well? No, it's not even. It feels like hard though. Okay, maybe we can't kill it, but at least we can get as much as possible here. Uh, if Cyclone Strike, maybe I could kill this back here, but I'm not running Cyclone.
This guy keeps following me now for the entire level, it's gonna be great. Cane beams everywhere. guy. Ooh, yes, we kept it. It was close, but it worked. Boom. Uh, that sounds like it's gonna be it. Okay. 220 only. Mm. With the chest. What build at season 25? If you play Solo, go Rafna. If you push Solo, go Corpse Explosion. Or Rafna. It's kind of fun. I like Rafna. Hmm. I have a socket. I have nothing to put there. Well, actually, I have a. Diamond, I guess. Uh, I think 400 or 500 is the last massacre. I think 400. It's like a times 4 bonus. It's pretty massive. Okay, we need some little guys here to pop these. Well, maybe not, actually. Maybe we can just like brute force it. Start. Yeah, uh, Torment 3 is getting hard again, so I think next round we have to go down to Torment 2 and probably stay down until level 60 and then we go down. Down and down and down, it's gonna be slow. Templar's dying, I'm dying. It's great. My Templar's actually dead, so I'm gonna be careful here. I might just get a rip. I don't like this Vizalius here in the middle. Can we get rid of him? down. What about this uh, mine dude? survived here yeah, fully. Maybe we can get to 200, that'd be nice. Almost there. Oh yeah, that looks good. I don't like these Vizarius dudes here, they're too tanky and dangerous. Have to play this too carefully on hardcore. 
So of course it'll be not a big deal. Just keep going. We have two of them now actually. That's pretty bad. I think I'm gonna let it run out and go next. Or no, it's too juicy actually. Let's keep at it. Oh boy. Some shitty packs here everywhere. Nah, it takes too long to pop it basically, that's the main problem I have. Even with the palm and the sweeping wind active. This makes it so dangerous. No cube, no gamba. Uh, let's see again here. Ten more levels for GDF, so that will speed it up again a bit, I guess. That's a lot of damage. I think I'll take it. Can put this. <laughs> I have ascension. That's good. Uh, probably now, Tom Two is gonna feel like this stuff is dying too fast again. But let's see. Uh, we can kind of kill the big guys without worrying about uh, the roaches. So it's good. Yeah. They just kind of melt in like five, ten seconds. Starting here. Amazing. How far are we? One hour eight. Mm -hmm. yeah, I guess two hours is kind of what it's going to be. That's how good my last massacre is gonna be, I guess, on level 60 something. Oh, we lost it. A countdown. Oh, is there a countdown already? Did someone make one? I don't know. Oh, this is dead end here. Oops. So I've seen that coming actually. Let's do another one. Fully augmented meme push. What are you gonna do, Sapke? Companion push. Oh, what are you talking about there? Kaboom. Companion push. Yeah, how did it go, by the way? Don't remember right now. How far did he get? Oh, 
Well, should have stayed there, I would have gotten the massacre. Ended at 108. Nice. A few closer than 110 even. <laughs> okay, I'm proud of you, it's okay. Okay, got a chest here. Rank 1 Marauder Companion World. Yep. <laughs> Nuts. I could also clear like a, you know, a GR150 and a GTH or something. Put Spike Trap on the bar instead of Bladed Armor. Rank 1 Spike Trap World. Let's go. CE from getting a clear. The big nuke of COE. <laughs> companions. <laughs> How exactly do you do a setup? So you just ran companions, no sentry? No, you need to sentry for the for the buff. But he didn't have a spender, I assume. Well, how did that go? We're getting a free on massacre here, it's pretty good. We have suicide dudes again everywhere. That's Frenzy Shrine. Oh, we can get to 400 even if there's more here in the corner. Yes. Kind of scary if only two charges right now, but we can get to three charges here. Okay. Yeah, and we lost it. No. <laughs> Shouldn't have gone down. Oh well. It was rarely going well. Number one Earth Inner World. Yeah, Earth Inner might be good enough to clear 150 now as well. I don't know. But honestly, it seems crappier than Water Allies, so maybe not. I think they tried to like buff it a bit. But yeah, it's kind of bad. Temple or Halls? Halls of Agony is a uh, soft quest strat. I'm not playing soft core. Do 
There we go, I got a Templar Rick here. So we make a new weapon. So we're still old. We are 51. Okay, highest usable. 50, perfect. Halls, hardcore, just don't get hit. Doesn't have that much more DPS. But okay, now it does. I should go Torment 3 with this again, I guess. Can we roll a Vitality here? Why does it only sell like. Mojos and stuff. Just be good at the game, go a hardcore house of agony. I'll try. I can do one round of the memes. Honestly, with Fragment of Distraction. Theoretically, it's much easier now with Fragment of Destruction. If you just go and kill like one like five boss, I mean, that's already going to be a struggle on another one, but you know. Get the Lurus Crown level five after getting the cube. Okay, let's see how this goes, yeah. It's almost free. Bit scary. Yeah, let's explode our way through. I think at this point I would definitely go kill Rakanov a bit or something to get a Terra Shard instead of the Ruby. And we would have much more toughness, much more damage, so we could quite easily do a Torment 3. This is gonna be a bit scuffed here. I think I'm gonna do this on Season Start. If I get unlucky and I can't do the Mystic Ally strat, I'll do this. Just much more convenient. I mean, maybe we didn't find a Shard on the way there. So, but yeah, I don't get that many drops, I guess. I've found one legendary so far. A level 50, that's actually kind of sad. These guys are too slow. I think we have to go up uh, to the right anyway. Oh, no, we don't, okay. Upload it now. I talk, still talking about the companions. I'll dash into the door. Literally, door dash. Okay. Yeah, there's no small guys here. It's kind of yikes. Tomb Roaches, please. Yeah, they're coming. Well, didn't work out so well. We have some already up. Let's go. Mm. 
I don't like this at all. This is a bit scary. I have to go back to Torment 2 again. These fucking Rosalius dudes here are too tanky. I can't kill them when they're constantly teleporting around. I'm out of the explosions. Unless I kite everything in on the right moment when he doesn't TP and pop it on him. Can we do more? Let's just go. Yeah, you can't uh, lower the difficulty in a hardcore run. So you always have to go back to menu to lower difficulty. So I was hopping between Torment 2 and Torment 3. I just made a new weapon and I thought Torment 3 is fine, but it seems a little bit too slow. That was actually pretty good what he found here. That was also nice. Anything else? I'll give him a weapon, I guess. I could even take um, a Relentless Assault for 20% extra damage, doing blind. <laughs> Most of the time I blind just to apply my palms and not doing the explosions, so it usually takes a long time for it to pop. Killed the, the su suicide dude. Actually, he becomes blind to suicide dudes and kill them. Easy. How about that? Because if they suicide, you don't actually get the kill credit or XP. So it's, you just blind them and kill them. Oh shit. Okay, we can. Okay, we can keep it. Get something here. Oh. Okay, that was that was bad. Damn it. <laughs> this was a really good start actually. Let's try another one. Uh, losing it there after the door already opened was bad. I touched back and actually didn't refresh. Why no water ally? Turns out water ally is not really that great when you have uh, no crispies, so. I 
Oh, my secret wind is not active. Oof. What the fuck is the start here? I have frozen poles and everything. And frozen. anymore. My Templar is tanking. It's not good. Okay, that works. I have to go down to someone once soon here. I think those normal big dudes are too tanky. I need to focus a bit more on like kiting these bugs when I have these big packs instead of palming them too early. I was just like, you know, kite them with me until I get like some, some other big enemies and then I pop them. That's probably much better. So here we got these guys now, for example. Just go in with Sarandi and then boom. And then next. Now we have nothing here. Well, actually here. Yes. Woo! Thank you, Ghibli. It's just six months. I appreciate it. Okay, there's nothing here. Rip. I'm gonna remove Seize the initiative for GDEV and keep Transcendence. I think that's gonna be better. Transcendence is still quite helpful for healing. It's like, I don't know how much I get, like maybe 5% of my health per palm. It's pretty nice. Amulet! I got a Squirts! Ooh! That's juicy. Minus one, plus one, huh? Alan, I'm lucky. Now my sweeping wind ran out. As I was leading the chest, wasn't paying attention. Four square topas. Hmm. I 
Yeah, I didn't want to really equip it or like actually use any legendary power, so this course will be nice. It's actually really strong stat upgrade. Massacre runs in a dual party. Probably not. Hard to say what we're doing two man. Two man is kinda hard. I guess two man is just straight up slower than solo. <laughs> in most cases. That's a lot of toughness. I didn't get the uh, dislike button thing yet. I will at some point. 600 DPS, straight up. Gonna craft another weapon. Nice usable. Yes. It's already more damage with other Ruby. I guess at this point you want the, the soul shards, yeah. I didn't select it. What? Oh, we got it again. Yeah, after this one we have cheat dev. It's gonna be good. Yeah, this is no gamble, no craft uh, run here. And 8,000 cool kills for uh, shards. Okay, one Tomb Roach, follow me. No! Maybe take the blind that has the extra damage. I don't think about it. This might be quite useful here. I didn't do this last time, but I wanted to. Well, this is empty. Yeah, Faith in the Light is the one, and also wanted to Wind Blast actually. Or maybe actually this. I'm not really doing the combo so much, so the extra spirit is probably helpful. Oh, this is actually the bounty guy. Should I try to kill him? Maybe. Maybe. No. <laughs> Fuck it. Inarius Speed GR. Oof. That's what I say. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I can go Wisdom of Galan. They're gonna be kind of tanky. But realistically, you want squirts. Yeah, it used to be kind of okay with Corpse Explosion and uh, Invincibility, but they patched out the Invincibility with C Captain Crimson. So now it's really kind of yikes. So Inarius start is basically just LOD start on Necro. That's almost every season. Just go LOD. 
Although you have, a, have it a bit easier to uh, get your cooldown requirements with a Curtain Crimson in the build. If you go LOD, Corpse Explosion. I don't have Crimson. But yeah, basically I just recommend LOD anyway. Okay, this didn't work out of the 58 in this run. So one more. Sapple of Sony items on the free panel, I don't think so. I mean besides the like special items like the um, the transmog stuff and like the Murdoch thing and stuff like that and like the and that's a few things basically but I don't think you can actually make like global items there. Double legendary, what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> From fucking chest. This is a normal chest, by the way. Not a big one. Sixteen, that's normal. Yeah, but we are tier two. Huh? Got an S of Johan. That's actually nice. Where are you gonna wear it? Even with the downgrade in stats, because then it pulls stuff together. It's gonna be amazing. All the luck for the season gone in one chest. <laughs> yeah, this has been the most lucky chest I've clicked today, that's for sure. And most of the time I don't open the chest anyway because I have to keep the massacre bonuses. So you don't really have time. Like here, even the, the event chest I don't click very often. Because he's in B, have to keep the massacre. So I should farm first on Demon Hunter. Uh, you probably farm Salt and Cool and get uh, just just get get the Drag Supplies there a couple times and establish until you get a Ruby. This seems to be the better strat actually instead of going Soul Shards, you just do this. Okay, I have enough experience. Now we can be a bit more aggressive here with Sheetev. Double Sheetev actually, so. Templar is also still kind of surviving here, it's tanking these guys. Lasting Monte, what are you doing today? How far are we now? One hour forty. Twenty minutes to do the last eleven levels. I'll be close. I need some nice massacres, but probably doable. I get like some free four hundred massacres. So it would be sub two hours.
I could try to go to level 2 actually and keep the massacre. This is sometimes doable if you get some monsters right at the start. Let's open the door. Too bad we lost like 200 streak or whatever it was. We did it actually. Look. Alright, we can get a bit more. Maybe we can get a 300 again here. Yeah. Oh, empty. Rip. Okay. <laughs> I guess not in that case. Level 60! One two seems fine. Uh, Isaac's is about about the uh, shards, so you can also get the Terra shard from Act Four from Rakanoth. That's something I would recommend as well. It's for for my, basically any class. Oh god! This shows me like a unique one. What is this? Everything is still open here. Yeah. Why is everything open? What the fuck? He's level 61, let's just craft that one. Yeah, that's actually a really huge upgrade once you get that. Okay. This is good. What about the amulets? Should I just use it? Thousand two hundred life per hit. Oh, this amulet here! I remember this from level sixty times. This is a level sixty amulet. That's a really cool icon. Hmm. Fluchte Truhe für die Errungenschaft. Nee, ist ziemlich schlecht. Und dann kannst du andere benutzen. Es gibt nur das, der die gut ist. Wenn der Bring Guide. Kannst du angucken. Ja, das ist. Das ist fein, I guess. I just give this guy here some vitality, some left bird hits. Or some life regen rather. Let's go. Archon Amulets. Yeah, exactly. These were the ones that we were crafting back then for demonic essences. Yeah, stuff is kind of tanky right now. Tom two. We have to get the level up badly. I think we might have to do some Tom one. Seems like everything's gonna be super tanky at level sixty right now. Yeah, let's reset this. Turn 1 to level 61, and then we have the weapon. That should be easier again. It's like double damage. <laughs> there's there's a join. Let's go. <laughs> I 
What? Why did, how did my, my super minions just killed this guy, but it didn't reset the timer? What? Or do I have, it does not reset on its own, it doesn't reset on its own. Okay. So I actually have to punch to reset it. Alright. Didn't realize. Uh, that's amazing, here's some Vizalius guys again. Finish his chest. Oh, this is, oh, there's these two dudes left. Maybe. Okay. And we lost the battle. I got rip. But I got the weapon. Let's go. Yeah, I think I was overall doing this a bit on like a too high difficulty. I was probably a bit too greedy trying to do this on like Tommy 3 all the time. Because if you can just like run around, palm stuff, and their stuff explodes, that's probably the better way to do it. Like this, this is kind of just the pace that he wants. You can almost kill this guy here. He's half HP at least, and he has illusions, so he can kind of like die from his own illusions, from the pops. Ah, oh. should have clicked the, ch the shrine. Rip. Which one was that? Empower. Yeah, that's just over anyway. Now we have to go for some vendors, I guess. Oh, we also forgot the Imperial Ruby here. For like two runs. This is a backup start in case I get absolutely nothing. I didn't craft, I didn't gamble. And I killed Sultan Ghoul eight times. So we just took like a really, really good run and then like one really bad run, basically. I should probably check the Venice a little bit because we can get all the Reaper of Souls items now. Good one was 1 hour 10 minutes. Oh, wait, 1 hour 11. That's actually an upgrade. Pretty good. Mm. Okay, 
has to act one as well. <laughs> as the cloud at season 25. You're doing it. It's the time. Thomas. Yeah. Well, eight minutes for eight levels. That's gonna be rough. So it's probably gonna be like ten, two out of ten or something here. Hopefully we get the chest, we can get a really nice massacre here. Too bad it's only turn one. Let's see. Guess we have to go down here. Oh, I dash into the wall. Oof. Rip. Dolph is still trying to hide at me. Uh, was the first hydro on the first one or was this one? I'll do it soon. Yeah, almost 70. Um. Yeah, next run. Inner Toxic Rain. Minus 10 of Daiwo with Shenong's generator. The quality of life difference is immense. Yeah, of course. But you get used to the Shenong's quite easily, I think, if you try a bit. On Ina, the Shenong's is very easy to use compared to most other builds that have Shenong's. Used to be much harder in another setups. Monk. Solo XP. Monk. What is that about the weed? Can't scroll up now. Maybe I can. I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't understand this question. You're asking if I smoke weed? No, I don't. But I don't get the rest of the question. <laughs> what is that about? Ballista. Oh, for fuck's sake, man, these guys are not following me. So we gotta yobble this. Hope it works. Okay. Well, I got some two more roaches here. Okay, I 
There's actually a lot of stuff now. Let's go. This means don't open. Hey, Valent. No water boys here. We're chilling. Huge save, baguette. For the blind. Actually, not that bad, but uh, you barely get the 100% crit thing. So, realistically, you want to go after anguish and the explosion. I think that's much more juicy. Like, you are gonna get this 100% crit effect much less than you think because of the Cyclone Strike constantly uh, removing the. Uh, giving crowd control resistance, basically. So, that's the problem. But yeah, 100% crit otherwise would be pretty nice. Curse chest one time now. We have 250. Can get a 300 here before curse chest. That'll be juicy. I'm even not palming. I'm a half dead all the time. Because I'm not healing from uh, life per spirit spend. Uh, it doesn't look like we're gonna get it. But maybe. It does it actually. Mm, there's probably like some part here, like this is probably connected here. But we can't get there now, I guess. Rip. <laughs> I wonder if there's also a chest here, maybe. There's like another room. Oh, there you go again. 100% crit on water ally while leveling. Yeah, this would actually be quite nice. Get the baguette. But this is from. Oh, it's actually from Act 4, right? So if you get a Terror and a Pain, that's actually a pretty good combo. So once you are out-leveling the Ruby utility, basically, you just go that. Sounds pretty good. This weapon of strength is an upgrade. Oof. Wait a second, I can just use this and roll decks, right? Let's go. Recovery. I think we're not getting anything good here from these vendors. Boom. Okay, 
find those dudes so they don't blow themselves up. Is this the room? Yeah, this is the room. The room is always scary here. Yeah? Massacre. Solo group. I'll do solo, hardcore, start with Monk, play 3 days, clear 150, and then I'm gonna make main DH. And once I clear 150 with that, I'm gonna do Witch Doctor after like a few weeks. This is my strat here. I think race to 150 solo will be funny. So this is mostly when I want to do it, because this is gonna be like the most competition on Inners. so much. Laughing Gore, hello. To 38, holy shit. Thank you. How are you doing? Fucked it up. Nah, that was too greedy. Popping them there. Should have cut something out, maybe blinded it. That might be a strat as well sometimes. Let's try a uh, torment 2, maybe. Maybe we can get some other upgrade here. Well, you can kind of read the map layout, but not entirely. So, yeah, sometimes you can like, understand a bit of where to go and stuff. But it's uh, it's still RNG, and sometimes you just run into like an empty room or something like I just did. I mean, sometimes I know what the room is, but I go into an empty room anyway and lose my massacre. So if you have hard, then this is much easier because you actually know the layout from the start, basically, and you also know where the monsters are. So I'll probably be 70 already, but yeah, without it, it's kind of rough sometimes. Good thing potion exists. I just realized when I uh, palm the explodey dudes, they actually don't proc the palm either. They just, they just explode. But they don't actually proc the palm to do damage on everything. That's kind of sad. So I can't even abuse that. A bit greedy, I guess. This is looking good, actually. Let's go. Yeah, maybe I should have waited a little bit with the cheat death, but it's fine, I guess. Ten 
Vampire is dying. That's bad, man. Nah, yeah, Tomato was a bit too greedy again, I guess. Should have gone Tomato 1. So easier massacre. Even if the curse just said didn't really get much. So now which way? Up, I guess. Let's go up. These are all the exploded dudes. Oof. Okay. <laughs> Almost lost my massacre because they're all killing themselves. shitty corner here, I gotta say. I think it's gonna dash up here and hope for the best. No. Okay. Kiting without Tomb Rose is kind of shit. These big dudes. Soon TM. Next one. Yeah. Dash recharge counts as a cooldown, yes. Any charge skill that is like charging up is counting for the cooldown. Hello, Holy Saint Knight. A lot of toughness. Let's go to the Templar. It's also a lot of toughness. Oh, this is Templar got some upgrades. And he also has this now. Nice. Okay, this is how different it's not as I see. So dash in this room, there's like 50 enemies here. And more tomb roaches spawning. Uh, just now I dashed in there and lost my massacre. Oof. The previous run. Sometimes I just have to take the risk, I guess. Because it would just take forever to try to kite something with you. And there's no tomb roaches. And we lost it. Even dashing exactly on the corpse is too slow, man. When they come out, it just takes so long. They did this on purpose, I'm sure. Max one knows curse for the inner monk. Um, yeah, that's the season 24 version I'm looking at, I guess. Season 25 is not on the, on the side yet. Squared CE not worth? Molten Squared CE, what kind of thing is that? You go focus on these train squirts and then we go for a Granger. Or you go Traveler, Compass Rose, COE. And there's no Molten. Molten is like for speed farming, maybe, but you don't even need it there. 
because if uh, be high is around the uptime. It's okay, maybe see a bit annoying. <laughs> I like that song a lot. Do you have it? Like, do you need to drink or something? Okay, two roaches, come with me. Yes, you. Both the others are trash, we're just addicted. Sage. That's fine, I can probably play other games. D3 is money grab. Yeah, it's, it's really. Uh, it's really bad, I think, yes. So you, you buy the game, you know, you pay like, uh, you know, 60 bucks, and then you play the game for like, you know, 5,000 hours. What a fucking cash grab. So yeah, in my case, that was a really bad investment, I guess. Spirit Guards is not needed at all. Spirit Guards is just a pussy version for a low paragon. Once you're like 1500, 2k or so and you play the setup properly, then you don't need them. So yeah, for my hardcore 150, I would probably use Spirit Guards, because it will just be like way too low paragon to actually survive. But uh, the real setup doesn't use it. You got Orgles. Top with Heifer and Spirit Guard, so you do something like 70% toughness and you get Orgles. Which is like two tiers of damage or so. Get a console copy for 5 euros on eBay. <laughs> okay, that works too, I guess. So someone else uh, grabbed cash from you, not even Blizzard. Oh, you're right, I didn't do a bandwidth before season, and I just realized. Season's already over. Tap your hands. And too bad I lost my, what was that, 350 or so, we'll be at 500 now. And we can maybe even go to level 2 and continue. Let's see, that would be so sad actually. We would probably be level 70 if I had, hadn't lost it here. Let's see. But yeah, it's probably one more run if, we, if it goes smooth. So it's gonna be like... Yeah, 2 out of 20, okay. Maybe 225, worst case. Ah, 
Got it. Sad cat. This will be almost 600 already. Them, so that was a bit okay, mega greedy. That's the end anyway. So this this is the entire level anyway. <laughs> hmm. Okay, let's do it. That's a lot of toughness. The other thing I want is also a lot of toughness. Damn. Yes, okay, let's, let's do one of those trades. I guess that's fine. Let me get this for damage. A surprising build coming out of left field might be Phalanx Seda. Yeah, nuts. Phalanx is gonna be crazy. CDR needed. Uh, you don't need very much CDR if you play Shenong's push version with COE. You only need CDR for the speed versions or for like the time attack versions in Hana 50. But in the actual like push version you play around COE. And there you need only 33% CDR which is almost nothing. So basically you have it like on a weapon or two and shoulder. Stuff is getting a bit tanky on Taunt 1, but let's do it. Yeah. My sleeping wind is only a one. Where are my stacks? Templar, it's fine. Enlightened Shrine, let's go. More skills to use in D2. That sounds like news to me. I defeated Hell Baal Hardcore with literally Summon Dire Bear. As soon as I press the mana potion. I didn't get the crudest boots because I didn't try. If I try with streamer client, it's like first try. I'll show you.
guys are fearing me. Oh, it's all about stuff, actually. Ouch, man. What the hell? Vroom. Ah! Misclick twice on a low HP dude. Okay. Got a nice explosion off anyway. Oh, right at the chest we lose it. Pepe hands. Okay. <laughs> we'll be level up after this chest, I guess. But not anymore. So it's just triple dashed, yeah. I've seen his long corridor. I was like too hesitant. Uh, realistically gonna be much faster than this, so this is 2 hour 25 now for level 70 and this is with no cube, no gamble at all. So I didn't even try to get a Daibo, I didn't even get Rerara Dancers, I didn't try to get Braces, didn't get any like noteworthy like legendaries during the run. So this is basically worst case scenario and I don't have soul shards. So actually I would be running with a Terra shard here now, after killing Rakanov like you know a few times. And uh... Yeah, maybe also like a weapon shard, I'm not sure what I would get actually. Maybe not like a weapon shard, but yeah. At least a terror shard would be nice. So realistically, even without Kudos boost, etc. And I also didn't try to make a low level weapon by the way, so I had nothing here. I just did it with like basic leveling stuff. So getting as lucky on this as this is basically impossible. And uh you're gonna be at least like two hours or so if you try with like, you know, let you do this level weapon. If it's like level 50 at least, it always saves like 15 minutes or something. So we'll be down to like almost two hours basically. It's just another known. And my massacre bonus for kind of crappy sometimes. So yeah, it's basically uh, exactly half as fast. If you have a really good one versus a really bad run. The base effect of Terra is the um, increased damage and damage reduction per effect on cooldown, per skill on cooldown, and also like longer cooldowns. So the longer cooldowns is going to be a bit annoying, I guess, but overall it's going to be worth it. So obviously for dash where it really matters, the longer cooldown. But they're gonna be quite tanky, so it's quite useful. And Light and Shrine again, let's go. This weapon <laughs> looks amazing. Look at the sword. Oh, this is the room again. We have one tomb roach almost dead. Well, let's try. Oh, we got it. We got it. That dash into all the explosions from the attack. Is 
Is that Ephira's Mog? No. That's Grandfather, which is well, it's just like a teal glowing Grandfather. So nothing special in terms of Mog. But it's just like, just his weapon here. Now rest 2 and a sword. I never see these 200 mocks because no one is wearing 200 weapons in this game. Besides so the Quake. Yeah, as a joint proking exactly before the pop. I like it. No, we shouldn't blow up all the roaches. Okay, yes, yes, some more tomb roaches. Okay, tomb roach. Sorry for my pronunciation. Has a show and edit it again. I like it. Ugh. I dashed down again because there was also nothing here. I thought maybe there was something spawning behind. Okay. Let's try it the hard way. Powerful level. Why isn't there more SLF player in Season 24? And because first of all people don't know about it, second of all people don't care about it. So, I don't know, maybe this time it's gonna be more. I mean, the thing is that also you can't like 100% verify if someone is actually SLF or not and stuff, so... So, uh, you know, it just kind of depends. Like, I guess no one really advertises it in a big way. But, I mean, here we are. Maybe we're gonna have more people participating now because... I'll do it and you know it's gonna be there with the link and stuff. It'll be cool to see more people do it. Mm. I'll just keep going until level up. I'm not gonna reset now. LOD or season journey. If you're playing a necro you go LOD. For every other class you go season journey basically. What the fuck? Wait, we have to go this way? Which way do we have to go to? I don't get it. Here, maybe. Oh, yeah, okay. I thought this is a different room. Explosion on these dudes. I think we have enough for level 70 already. 
Let's just explode this here and then go back. That should be fine. Oh, really? It's not. <laughs> wow. I really overestimated Tom on 1 XP, I guess. My CP minus out. Oof. Okay, here we are. Yeah, two and a half hours. Worst case scenario. Yeah, I mean, this is no boots and also. Okay, I mean, I just had the boots really, and I had the level requirement weapon as well, so. This is no boots and no low level weapon. And nothing basically. So, yeah, I think, like, realistically, it's gonna be two hours like, on season start if you don't get boots and you get generally get quite unlucky. 